Good evening and welcome to the Summer Center on the campus of Bluffton University. Tonight, WSN brings you Division II District Semifinal Volleyball. Phil Bangy brings his Salina Bulldogs here, and they are matched up with the number five ranked team in the state. That would be the Shawnee Indians. My name is Mark Shines. My pleasure to do play-by-play. -play. Alongside do our color commentary, Mr. Miles Holiday. Miles, an uh, interesting matchup. Salina lost this match way back on September 7th in the Western Buckeye League. Good matchup here tonight. Yeah, it sure is, Mark. And where else would you rather be than right here, right now? This has got stars everywhere. Take a look at the first teams in the WBL. Both the rosters are just full of first team players. And Mark, everybody loves a big hitter, right? Yeah. yeah. Shawnee, one of the best. And Kelly Cooper with 348 kills. And of course, Salina's got a couple good ones, led by Miley Sapp with 298 kills. That's going to be a lot of firepower out there tonight. That's the truth. And on the mount, on our staff today, up on the, uh, the stand, our R1 will be Jeff Harvey. Our R2 on the floor is John Grove, and then Michael Quinlan and Don Bryan will be our line judges today in this match. The uh, Shawnee Indians, they are 22-1 on the season. They were 9-0 in the Western Buckeye League. They lost only one set in nine matches. That, that's pretty good, pretty good Western Buckeye League play, Miles. That's crazy, isn't it? That is an, an obscene number. I believe only five sets all season long, yep. and, and three of them were to Coldwater. Coldwater, that one loss that they had, and if you talk to the Indians, they thought, well, we had that one and it kind of got away from us, and that was a, a very talented Coldwater team that will be playing in the tournament yet this week as well. Phil Bangy's team at Salina graduated several really talented players a year ago, so a, kind of an inexperienced team in some respects coming back. They finished 12-10, and 10, but they were 5-4 and four in the Western Buckeye League. Yeah, if they're going to do some uh, real damage here tonight, they're going to have to rely on the back with the Allison Schwederman, the first team all WBL player. Mark, this is crazy. 537 digs. I That's saw a that. third of all the digs on the team. I saw that number and I thought, it's a misprint. Got to be a misprint. <laughs> oh, what, a, what a number that she had. How about that to go along with 49 uh, assists from her libero position? Well, opening service, this will be by Freiberger, and she will serve and almost got an ace out of it. Salina is on the right side of your screen. They are in white, they're libero is in green, that's Allison Schwederman. There's the kill right out of the shoot for Shawnee. Well, there's the young lady that we mentioned in our lead, uh, Kelly Cooper, uh, celebrated a thousand kills early in the year. She is a monster in the middle for Shawnee. This is Grace Freiberger to serve. Shawnee is on the left of your screen. Grace wears the black uniform for as a libero for her team. Headed to the University of Toledo is Grace to continue her volleyball career. Here's a set from Maxwell. Back set. That hit was done by Kelly Cooper. And free balled over. Maxwell sets Cooper again. Played by the libero Sweeterman. And ball fell on Shawnee's side. It is 1-1. A tremendous job by Salina. Just getting the ball back up. Running a double block against Cooper. Getting enough of it where the defensive players can get on it and keep it up. Here is Allison Schwederman. And she chalks up an ace. That would be number 24 on the season for her. That just kind of died like a split finger fastball in the middle of the floor. Caught Shawnee out of communication. Serve again. That goes to Cooper. Maxwell will set. And Kelly Cooper rolls it across the net, but it will fall on the side of the Indians. It's 3-1. Well, if Salina's going to make some hay in this match, it's going to have to be from the service line. Make things very difficult. Play the seams, go deep, move around that Shawnee defense. And that ball is long on service, so it'll be 3-2 as Leah Rudisil will serve for the Indians. A good communication. Maggie Jordan's right move, just getting out of the way, letting it go long. And that ball will turn out to be an ace, her 19th of the season. And we're tied at three early on in this semifinal match. Let's see if she goes back to the same spot. Hit was by Addie Kriegel. 4-3 Indians. Yeah, Kriegel, one of the young players with only 24 kills on a year, but so much attention is going to be on Cooper. And you get the ball outside, you're going to go with single coverage against it. Ball's tipped over by Kriegel. Uh, Kira Bangy, and it was played out of bounds by Shawnee, so it's 4-4. And to serve will be Haley Kaiser. She has 37 aces on the year. That leads her team. 
Although not by nuts. They got a whole bunch of people who have chalked up some numbers. That serve goes wide. Well, that's two already service errors for Salina. If they're going to stay in this match, they got to get the ball in play. Maxwell serves. And that ball stayed on the side of the Indians on the try by Bangy. 6-4, Shawnee. Now Phil Bangy knows they can't make too many mistakes to be in this high-powered match against Shawnee. Set. Quick hit out of the middle. That point will go to Miley Sapp. Boy, look at Miley Sapp quickly yeah. off the floor. You got a big middle against you. How do you go against it? Well, go quick. Can't get the block in front. As you said, 298 kills heading into this evening's match. Freiburger plays. That's just chipped over by Cooper and didn't need to use the fastball that time. A tremendous pass set to get Cooper an opportunity. Here is Kelly Cooper, 5'10", senior. First team all-conference in the Western Buckeye League, and she will serve. And... Yeah, whistle because they're <laughs> scrambling to get the ball that just went out of play. Using the three-ball system here and had to get the ball out of the way. Ball's hit to Sweeterman. Here's the set. And miss hit. It was. 8-5. I like it, though. Kaiser's setting quick again. That time is going to be a little quick back set. Our opening set today is sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken and Lime, Wapak Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's, where Famous Recipe Chicken happens here. And illegal contact. That one was on the other side. That's a shame because Maxwell did a great job getting that ball back up, hit directly at her. Here's Sapp to serve, Miley. That kill attempt was by Brickner. And then trying to put it in play unsuccessfully, Sidney Jenkins, it's 9-6, Shawnee. Jenkins saw the block looming to the right of her, tried to go line, just didn't get enough of it. Maggie Jordan will enter. She will be in service, then she will play in the back row. 9-6 early on on our Wallbash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. She pitches an ace on, to play off the bench and pitches an ace. A little hubby wife disagreement in the back row. Mm -hmm. I got it. You take it. Nobody does. Her fourth eighth of the season. Set. Quick hit out of the middle. Kip Chuck that point up to Ava Kanapke. She was a third team all conference player in the Western Buckeye League. That shows you how tough the league is, right? 236 mm. kills in your third, <laughs> your third team. Third team. Yep, as a senior. And now service will be Emma Harder. Maxwell will set again. Kill attempt by Hutchins. And she puts that away. It's 11 7. Yeah, good set. Off the net, give her uh, some room to work. Able to see where the defense was before she attacked. Here's Carly Hutchins to serve. And that's an overpass right there. That's going to end up being a point. This is put away by Mackenzie Brickner. Yeah, smart play by Brickner. Not waiting around. Go right back out on a one ball. And we're going to get a timeout. Salina, they trail 12-7. First set. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Our scoreboard today is sponsored by Wabash Mutual Telephone, a proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. And that scoreboard shows 12 for Shawnee, 7 for Salina. In, uh, Bulldogs get a timeout, Miles. Yeah, get a timeout down by five, but it felt as if the Salina, or, uh, Shawnee was going to go on a bigger run. Call the timeout, settle your ladies down. Good job by Phil Bangy. Here's Carly Hutchins to continue in service. 5'10", sophomore. Ball set by Schwederman. Hit across by Jenkins. Maxwell plays it. And just tipped over that time by Kanapke. From the back row, Hutchins. And illegal contact, 13-7. 
Uh, it's something that they're calling very tight so far in this mm. first set. I think that happens when you start getting into the higher levels, district, regional, and so on. It does become a tighter called match than you get sometimes in the regular season. Set, hit over by Jenkins. A good Maxwell coverage. hits. She got it in. A really good coverage by Hutchins. And her service game, Mark, we're right behind her. Yeah. She has thrown out three doozies so far. She's got a lot in her repertoire. Sweeterman plays. And that kill will go to Ava Kanapke to break the run of four. Now, I just love the game plan of Salina going quick in the middle, not allowing Shawnee any chance to get in front. Been successful when they've been able to execute it. Michaela Stoner will come in to serve. She has 33 aces on the season. Maxwell will set, and out of the middle, no, from behind the 10-foot line is Hutchins. That ball's tipped over again by Kanapke. She's finding a hole right there in the middle of the zone. Well, she might have been third team, yeah, but she is playing she like a first-team well. player in the WBL. She has brought her A game today. Six-foot senior playing well. It's 14-9 on our Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. Here's Hutchins again. That one's hit over by Bangy. And then that ball was blocked. Kanapke with a send it right back, 14-10. And Napke says, I'm going to build a wall and make Shawnee pay for it. 15 blocks on the year, adding to that total today. Here's Stoner to serve again to Hutchins. And Maxwell will set. Hutchins again hits, goes down line, and gets a point for it. It was touched, 15-10. Uh, you're going to bring Cooper back in, but Hutchins, what a great job she has done in the back row. If you can be set from the back row, that means you're one heck of a player. Freiberger serves. Here's the set. Kanapke will hit that one. Played over that time by Rudisil. So here's Maxwell's set. Cooper tips to the middle. Here's the libero with a set. And it's hit out of bounds on the effort by Bangy. I know it didn't, it wasn't successful for Salina, but what a back pass by Schwederman to give their team an opportunity. Fantastic work. Freiberger serves again, and oh, save. Nice play that time by Haley Kaiser to run that one down. The ball goes long. Kaiser made a nice play. Now, watch what Freiberger does, Mark. I, I love it. As soon as the whistle blows, she doesn't waste any time, she serves it up in a hurry. And she chalks up an ace. She had 59 aces before tonight. We're going to get a timeout that will go to Salina. We're going to take a break also. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken and Lime, a Wapak Delphus in St. Mary's is our spike sponsor this evening. Call Lee's for your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Chris Freiberger will serve again. Kanapke just has to bump it over. Here's Maxwell's set. Cooper hits out of the middle. That's a recipe for points. Yeah, <laughs> here comes the boom, right? Yeah. Cooper with another big time kill. And Salina really gave him a free one there. Kind of sloppy getting it over. Shawnee, when you give them a free ball, they take advantage of it more times than not. Freiberger served four consecutive points. That hit was by Bangy. And Maxwell just plays it across. Salina keeps it alive. And Cooper tips to an open area. Kanapke pushes it. And that time, Cooper just hit it. Softballed him a couple times and then went after that one. Yeah, she's just one of those players where you know they're going to set her. They're, you know they're going to set her, and sometimes it just doesn't matter, right? Here's Freiberger, five points on her service. Set by Schwederman and hit by Bangy to Freiberger. That hit was by Rudisil, but she hit it out of bounds, and that ends the run. But a good one for Shawnee as they... Chalked up six points, five on service. The ball was headed out, but Hutchins played it. Free ball to Freiberger. Back set. 
And on the slide play, Cooper hit it long. It is 20-12. Yeah, Solana kind of snacking on danger here. They really need to, Schwederman to go off on a run, get back in this first set. And her serve is long. It is 21-12. Our second match today is Liberty Benton and St. Mary's. And then our winners tonight will come back on Thursday evening and play here at the Summer Center at 7 p.m. for a chance to go to the regional. Schwederman goes and gets it. It'll be free balled over by Stoner. And Cooper tips to an open area, but it's played by Harder. Look at Hutchins just diving. Freiberger plays it. And Cooper went up and blocked it. Was it on her side of the net? It was. Hard to tell from our vantage point sometimes whether she had to reach over the net to get it or not. Official says nope. And Leah Rudisell will serve. Big hit. Angie. And point. That was not Bengi, that was my sap. A great up by Freiberger, though. Shawnee not able to take advantage. Here's Haley, Ke Haley Kaiser to serve. Her team trails by nine on our Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. Maxwell tips it over. Back set pushed over by Schreffler. And point will go to Salina. Rudisell laid out, try to get it back in the air. There's no teammate around to keep it going. Here's Schreffler again. Maxwell sets Cooper. That's just too easy when you go one, two, three, right? Mm -hmm. Great first pass, better second pass, and then the giant kill by Cooper in the middle. Just the way Coach Brooke Hutchins drew it up. Her team is two points away from taking the opening set. But that ball is hit out of the middle by Miley Sapp, and she gets a point for her efforts, 23-15. Yeah, Miley Sapp reminding everybody, hey, there's other big hitters out on the floor here. I'm one of them. It's a big, big at least famous recipe chicken spike. And now service will be by Karabangi, and it's long. Or excuse me, not long, it's missed. And we are at set point here in the opening set with Kelly Cooper to serve. Be set. That tipped over, and that point will go to Lily Schreff Schreffler at 24 16. And back to serve is Miley Sapp. Well, doors open still just a little bit mm -hmm. in this first set for Salina. Almost an ace, but they get to it. Not a great service return because of the good serve. Set a point for Salina. Yeah, it's a rarity for Shawnee. Mark, only mm -hmm. 65 service errors. Yeah, how about that? Receive errors all year long. And they did that in 65 sets, too. That's, that's, that's kind of an interesting number there. And that ball was hit by Hutchins. Here's Maxwell set again. Hutchins will go up again. Hits that one. And that was played by Kirabangi, but not successfully. And Shawnee will take opening set number one, 25-17. Set two coming up after this. You're watching High School Volleyball on WSN. We're back at the Summer Center here at Bluffton University. Our second set is sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens. Well, Miles, that was a Shawnee set. They had a, a run at one point uh, where they put six points on the board. They had another one of four consecutive points. Just kind of got away from Salina. Yeah, to me, uh, unforced errors by Salina, right? They're helping them out. How many times did they serve it long or into the net to help Shawnee out? Can't give away free points against a, a really good team like Shawnee. If you want to know how both teams got here, Shawnee defort, defeated Fostoria in the sectional final 3-0. Cooper had 13 kills that night. Gracie Freiberg had 29 digs and seven aces in that three-set match. Salina got here with a win over Defiance 3-0. Kaiser had... 
aces and assists, 22 assists, as a matter of fact, and Sapp had 10 kills. But in this opening set, it was Shawnee with a 25-17 victory, and let's see what Michaela Stoner and her crew can do here in set two. To Hutchins. And Hutchins from behind the 10-foot line. And good play by Rubensill. And that hits by Da, by Kanapke. Oh, look at Schwederman, though. Her court coverage to yeah. get that point for Salina was impressive stuff. Kind of important for Salina to get off to a good start in this set after losing the first set 25-17. Let's see what Stoner does here. Yeah, you talk to any volleyball coach, say, what's the most important set? Number two. Tried to dump it over that time to Kaiser. Kaiser sets again. And that hit and point will go to Kirbangi. So the first two points does go the way of the Salina Bulldogs. And Bangi with 129 kills coming into the night shows that she's capable. Rudis still hits. And out of the middle, that's a good point. We'll go to Ava Kanapke on the short set. Well, the senior, she's playing yeah. great volleyball. She has. She's found the middle of the court there with that placement several times. Now it's 3 0. Is going to get a sub in the game. This will be Maggie Jordan will enter. Uh, Kanapke doing a, a wonderful job, too, recognizing you know, when Cooper's out of the middle of the floor, go after it. Stoner serves. There's Maxwell's set. And out of the middle of the hit was by Mackenzie Bricker. Swederman got to that one. Here's the set. Kanapke again. They found something right there. Now, what do you do after a big kill, Mark? You, took, <laughs> you look at your teammates and you give them the flex. Napke yeah. is just on fire. Four consecutive points to open up set two. Stoner serves again. Hutchins. She rolls it across to Harder. And Swederman has to free ball it. Yeah, I think uh, that was an illegal contact. Uh, I might see a timeout here by Shawnee. Not often was... they give up a 5-0 run. All of them on service points that will go to this lady, Michaela Stoner. Lee Rudisil. And it will go long on the effort by Karabangi. And that breaks the run of five consecutive points. Yeah, I'll get Cooper back in this match. Shawnee needs her back in that middle. Here's Grace Freiberger to serve. Future Toledo Rocket volleyball player. Cooper one hands it over. Stoner will set and not successfully. You know, Miles, I, I've been around volleyball for 20, 25 years or so. Right. I don't remember a libero being the first team all-conference player, player of the year in the conference like Grace Freiberger was this year. Shows you how valuable she is as a libero. Uh, and it shows you how important that is in the league, right? Agreed. Coaches understand the without the good first pass, the second and third don't happen. What do we got? Got somebody's foot went across the net, under, all the way across the line under the net. It's 6-2. Yeah, when you are the libero, and obviously I, I'm a big fan of libero play, but you don't usually think of that as being the most valuable player in a conference, and she has been. Here's Cooper's hit, and it rolls along the net and falls in. Now, most of her kills come from the middle of the floor. That time towards the pin. 348 kills in 65 sets this year for Kelly Cooper. A nice job by Shawnee going quick on the serve. And they will get that point as well, make it 6-4. And it kind of caught Salina, not really set. They're still kind of talking. Here's Leah Rudisil to serve. But once the official whistles it. And that's going to be an ace. Leah Rudisil has two of them now. That's the first one in this set. A good response by Shawnee after that 5-0 run by Salina. The hit was by Burris. Cooper kept it alive. Maxwell pushes it to an open spot. What a play by Stoner. And they're going to free ball it over, make Shawnee work again. Back set. Cooper hit it out. 
Uh, how impressive was that court coverage by yes. Salina to steal a point? Can never count one on your scoreboard until it's actually on the floor. Haley Kaiser now, the setter, will serve. Cooper powered the ball through the blocker at 7-6. Bulldogs with... Addison Maxwell to serve. I like that mindset though, right? If you go through to block, it is demoralizing for that blocker. Lots of power by Cooper. That point will go to Miley Sapp. So Ina stays ahead at 8-6. How about that battle of first WBL players? Mm. Karabangi, the 5'9 junior to serve this ball. Back set to Cooper. That was blocked. Double blocker there. Oh, they couldn't get to it. Little collision. Miles just couldn't get to it. Yeah, it's, it's unfortunate for Salina because it's such a great job on the block against Cooper. And then it just nonchalantly falls to the ground. Here is Kelly Cooper. She has 32 aces on the year. Oh, good play by Sweeterman. Oh, incredible play by Sweeterman. And that time, uh, Carly Hutchins hit it through the blocker. It is tied at eight now after Salina scored the first five points of this set yeah. on our Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. Uh, Hutchins is just an efficient player, right? She is. Goes up, sees where the block is, goes off of it. That ball was hit long on the effort by Sidney Jenkins. Shawnee has come all the way back to take a 9-8 lead. And Cooper served long. We're tied at nine. You know, when it was 5 0, we were both thinking maybe it was time for an Indian timeout. Mm -hmm. and Coach knows her team. We'll yes, just play does. through it. We get to head 9 8. Now we're tied at nine. Now you got a veteran group. Just let yeah. them work it through. Sap serve. Hutchins hits. That bangy, great job taking that one from Hutchins. Hutchins hits that one as well. Sometimes she gets a point for her effort. It's 10 9. Hutchins with a great mindset. Doesn't get too high, too low. Just gets the kill, looks at her teammates. All right, let's move on to the next point. Sydney Burris turned to serve. She has nine aces this year. Kanapke got it in. Oh, keep going to the hot hand, right? That short set to her in the middle has been very effective. Especially when Cooper's been out of the lineup. Shawnee has had a tough time matching her in the middle of the floor. Keep feeding her. Here's Emma Hardiner's her turn to serve. Back set. Hudson sits that one to Sweeterman. And then the overpass will joust at the net. And what do we have? Double contact. 11 10 Indians. Yeah, there's no doubt something was going on at the net, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was swinging. I thought it was a hammock for a second, it was swinging so much. Here's Carly Hutchins. Tied at 11 on Wabash Mutual Telephone Scoreboard. Closely played, second set. Well, I guess you can say Hutchins yeah. is, is, a, is human. She made a <laughs> mistake right there, served it in the net. She's been fantastic all match long. Michaela Stoner began this set with some very good service work. That's blocked by Kanapke. And then she hits that one. Now look at Kanapke's intensity. Short set. Oh, that has been dynamite for them. Oh, she has just been fantastic for Salina. Have yourself a day, Ava. With the wonderful set she's getting to from Haley Kaiser right there on those short sets at the net. Here's Stoner to serve again. Tipped over by Pey Peyton Metzger. That time, Rudisell hits it off a blocker out of bounds, and we're tied at 12. Now, Rudisell had that opportunity in the first set. Went cross court and went out. That time goes off the block down the line. Smart adjustment. <laughs> it's great Freiburger to serve, and she rolled it across the net, got an ace. Her second tonight. One in each set. Freiburger serve again. 
Kanapke tips it over. That's a big hit by Cooper out of the middle, and another one. They keep it alive, though. Kanapke helped with that one. Bang, he hits <laughs> it, and Cooper blocked it. Oh, how impressive was oh, that by Kelly Cooper? One, two, and a third one. Right back in your face, Mark that return yeah. to sender. Her ability to get off the floor so quickly in those quick barrages like that. Here's Freiberger's serve again. Another ace. It's 15-12. I think we're going to get a timeout and for Salina. That we are. We're going to take a timeout also. It's 15-12, Shawnee, here in set number two. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Today's scoreboard sponsors Wabash Mutual Telephone, a proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. Scoreboard 15 for Shawnee and 12 for Salina here in set number two. See if Salina can get a stop here. That last serve by Freiberger was just nastiness on a platter. It was tough for Schwederman. Thought it was going to go long, and I don't know where it dropped from, but that was crazy. Set, hit was by Bangy, and she's going to get another opportunity, and that one's blocked. And a third chance. Maxwell sets, Cooper is it to Sweeterman. And a fourth opportunity. And Sweeterman has to free ball it. Cooper with a short set. Schwederman plays another one out of the net. And Cooper hits it through a block. Now Shawnee keeps it alive. Uh, both teams just yeah. battling. And there's Kanapke with a play. Maxwell tips it over, but she hits it right to Haley Kaiser. And then it's hit long. What a point. How about Coach, Coach Hutchins on the sideline showing some enthusiasm, and why not? The best rally of the night for both teams. Freiberger to serve again. This time Stoner sets Bangy. And Cooper hits it off of Schwederman's hands. It is 17 to 12. Freiberger served five consecutive points. She did that also in set number one today. See if she can top that and get to six. Or Salina gets a stop. Good serve. Here's Stoner, free ball. I mean, how about Kaiser chasing it down though to keep it alive for Salina? Bangy played that one. Cooper off a blocker. Sweeterman. And then Kanapke tips. Rudisil hits it. Looking for a line a touch. No touch. That ends the string. But another good service run by Grace Freiberger. I like the idea by Maxwell, though, going outside, getting Rudisil involved when everybody was in the middle anticipating Cooper was going to get it. Like right there? <laughs> How about Kelly Cooper saying, do you like to play darts? Well, good, because you can be the dartboard. Wow. Big hit by her. Our spikes today are sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Here's Leah Rudisil to serve. Rolls it across the net. And kill out of the middle. That one will go to Miley Sapp. Well, you need to start stacking some points of your Salina. Not out of it yet. Down by four. Dial up your big time hitter in the middle, Miley Sapp. Here's she Haley, delivers. Here's Haley Kaiser's serve. And Cooper, another point for Kelly. It shows you her smarts, Mark. We're, we are on a great angle because she goes around blocks, she goes through them, she goes over top of them. She is a smart player. That time goes a wi uh, wide to the left against it. Sap tips, and she gets a point out of the middle. 19-15. And the serve will be Kara Bangy. She has 36 aces this year. To Rudisil. And they're going to get a point out of that one. 
And that one just kind of kind of handcuffed Rudisil. Didn't know if she was going to back up on it or take it. And then next thing you know, it handcuffs you, and it's a free point for Solana. Solana making her move here. Salina has served 10 times in this second set. Only three of those 10 times have been able to score points on service. And they trail by four with Kelly Cooper to serve. Maxwell will back set this time, and the ball is hit by Leah Schreffler. And get a point out of it to the Indians at 21 16. Cooper will serve again, but not before. Salina will take their second timeout. And they will do so as they trail 21-16. We're pleased to announce a new pricing for the WSN streaming service. For only $8 per month, you can watch WSN from anywhere at any time. Sign up today at apple.wsn.tv. Also available on Roku and on Apple TV. Is there a better deal than in all eight, sports eight than that? I know. Eight bucks. And you get all the, all the sports, and yeah. you get to listen to Mark Shine. Well, that's one of the negatives. But other than that, <laughs> you get to watch a lot of WSN sports. Our Spike sponsor this set has been Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Everybody talks about how wonderful the chicken is at least, and it uh -huh. is, right? Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. But the mashed potatoes and gravy. Well, oh. I tell you what, you're, you're right, 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 and you got to get the sweet tea. Mm. Best yeah. sweet tea in northwest Ohio. Kelly Cooper to serve. Her team is four points away from taking the second set with a 21-16 lead. Cooper serves, close to an ace, but played. And that ball is hit by Sapp out of the middle, and Miley scores for her team coming out of the timeout. Yes, but Sapp, a smart player. You saw earlier in this set, just kind of poked it around a block for a point. That time has a free path. Go ahead and make him pay. Sapp will serve this ball. Here's Maxwell's set to Hutchins. And it rolls across the net and falls in. 22-16. And this time to serve is Sidney Burris. Back set, hit by Schreffler. And Hutchins hits it to Schwederman. Kanapke plays it over. Hutchins pushes it to the back row, and she missed it. Tried to roll shot it. Mm -hmm. Tried to get the down the back line, just went a little too far. I'm not sure she ever got her feet where she mm -hmm. wanted them to attack with. The set wasn't exactly where she wanted it. Sometimes it just happens. Glimmer of hope for Salina. It is Emma Harder's turn to serve. Hutchins, this time from the right corner. Kanapke hits it, and she hits it off of Maxwell for a point. 22-18. Eva Kanapke. It's been so impressive for Salina tonight. Yes, absolutely. 22-18 Indians. Salina has used both of their timeouts. As Hutchins hits a cross court this time, it's 23-18. Now look at this set by Maxwell, though. Yep. Held it long enough where Salina couldn't get in front of Hutchins. I'm not very good at math, Miles, yep. but 656 assists in 20, 65 sets, sounds like 10 a set to me. Yeah, she, she is a fantastic player. You almost forget about her because she does everything so efficiently. Schwederman free balls it. That is by Leah Rudisil. It is long. And it's 23-19. Slina running out of time here in this set as Michaela Stoner will enter. Well, Stoner had a yes, great run did. at the beginning. She served five consecutive points to begin this set. That's what her team could use right now. Carly Hutchins. And it is set point in set number two for the Indians. A little miscommunication in the back row for Salina. It's going to cost them a big point. Here's Grace Freiberger already with three aces in the match, two in this set. Kanapke hit it. Missed the sideline, and Shawnee will take set number two. This time, 25-19, third set coming up after this. Watching High School Volleyball on WOSN.
set three action coming up from the Summer Center here at Bluffton University. And our set sponsor is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Miles, you made a really interesting point when we were off air just a moment ago, and that was Coach Bang, he has to do a little bit of a selling job right now. Yeah, you're down two sets, right? And your season's on the brink of ending. You've really got to do the best possible job of giving a little bit of belief in your players. And he, he has those that the, the, the attention of his players because did you see where their attention was? Yep. All eyes were on him during that timeout. So if he's going to do a good job of selling it, they're going to have to do it in the first five points here. Mark, there's no way they can't come back and win this thing if they don't get off to a good start in set number three. Uh, would you say, Miles, that they've been able to get a lot of points out of Ava Kanapke, but not a consistent scoring out of anybody else, partly because of how well Shawnee has defended? Yeah, my, uh, Miley Sapp has shown up at a time, but, you know, there's so much firepower, yeah. right? And, and how do you defeat Shawnee when they get everything back up in the, in the air off of a serve? They they were they've been impressive all year and they're still impressive. I first time I've had a chance to see Shawnee in person, and uh, they are everything that everybody told me they are. Here is Grace Freiberger to serve. She has three aces tonight. Three of the six aces the Indians have racked up in the first two sets. And Karabangi hits it long, and Freiberger will have an opening point. Five, seven, libero. First team all conference this year. Player of the year this year. First team all conference a year ago, and her serve just missed the sideline. It's 1-1. One, one. As the libero for Salina, Allison Schwederman will serve 5-3 senior. You're not going to have a match very often where you have two unbelievable liberos like we have in this one. That's correct. Cooper gets a point there. The ball was just a shade behind her, but she still was. Had enough on it to get a point. And entering now will be Sidney Burris to play in the front row as Leah Rudisil will head to the back row to serve. Overpass. Here's Maxwell set. You know, when you pass the ball well to Maxwell and she gets a look at Cooper, that's going to be a pretty good opportunity. It's going to be a pretty op opportune time to get a point. Yeah, when Solana goes back and looks at this too many times on free balls and overpasses as a lie that Shawnee offense to get started. And Sap tipped that one over. That ball is hit by Burris and kept alive by Rudis. There's the free ball. But that's overpassed. And Sweeterman keeps it alive, or did she? Too many contacts. It's 4-1. As Leah Rudisil, 5'5", junior, will serve. She's got a couple of aces today. Schwederman's set. That ball is played over by Sidney Jenkins. Here's Cooper, and <laughs> Kelly Cooper almost got a line judge. Don Bryan <laughs> in the corner down there. <laughs> Don's got that look on his face like, uh, hit it somewhere else, please. <laughs> No napping when Cooper's uh, hitting. Yeah, that's correct. Here's Haley Kaiser. Rolls it over the net. Set Kelly Cooper, and she rolls it across the net. That was big on that point, but it ends up being a Shawnee point as Addison Maxwell will serve. Well, you see the net still moving. It shows you the power Cooper has. Yeah, it went and around. Out, yeah, ball's hit outside the antenna. So the point will go to Shawnee, and it's 6-2, and they seem to be in control right now. Here's Addison Maxwell to serve again. 19 aces for her this season, and make it 20. How about that on call? 7-2. And Maxwell went over 2,000 assists yeah. this year. Fantastic stuff. She, she is such a versatile player, Mark. 28 Agreed. blocks yeah. as well. Very talented player. She's got 52 kills when she's in the front row as a setter. That point will go to Shawnee as well. It's 8-2 as Maxwell will serve again. She's served three points out of the, this particular term. Look, Shawnee does a lot of things really well, right? But I think the most underrated part of their game 
at the service line, right? They don't throw no. anybody behind that service line that is going to give you a lollipop or an easy time. And with a 9-2 lead, Coach Phil Bangy says, uh, we better take a timeout here. Shawnee has scored five consecutive points. Timeout for us, too. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Today's scoreboard sponsor is Wabash Mutual Telephone, a proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. And that scoreboard shows the Shawnee Indians have jumped out to a 9-2 lead here in set number three. And Addison Maxwell will continue to serve. And they're going to sap in the middle, but Freiburger gets to it. And Cooper scores. It is 10-2. Yeah, Mark, a great example of how athletic she is. Did you see she had her back to the net and then on the second pass turns and delivers another monster kill? You and I do that. We're probably in traction for a week. <laughs> I could be in traction watching her do it. <laughs> Here's a pass to Sap, and that time Miley gets a point. And a good thing about Miley Sap is she is part Dominant in the middle, does other things around the floor, and for Salina, she comes back next year. And the serve by Kira Bangy missed the sideline. It is 11-3. You know, we, sometimes, Miles, we talk about teams that do a lot of risk-reward with their service. Shawnee yeah. just consistently gets the ball in play from service. And I just said that. She gets into the net, but the typical, you know, jinx that announcers have, but they have been very consistent getting the ball in play at the net service. Mark, I can't wait to the winter where there's a young man oh, yeah. with a, a 30 streak uh, free throws made, and, and you, you call him no, out I'll on call it. Call him out, yeah. But you're right, though. Their, their, their service game, with the exception of that last one, fantastic just getting it in, but not lollipops. They're difficult. Stoner hits that one. Set Hutchins, block. Kanapke got the block. This hit will be by Lily Schreffler, and she gets a point. Right. People who have been around Lima and WSN, WTW for a long time, that's known as the Mike Shep Jinx, long-time play-by-play <laughs> announcer at WTW WSN. He was famous for doing that. So nobody else had it until Mike. Well, huh? All right. Oh, a miss on the sideline by Hutchins. It's 11-6. Here come the Bulldogs. It's time well, he, for he probably didn't do it any more than any of the rest of us do, but it just became known as the... He was always on cue, Yeah. Huh? It's another serve. Slider trying to get back in this down five, and Hutchins hits it. Maxwell pushes to the back row. This ball will be set for Schreffler, but Lilly put it into the net. It's 12-6. Right, you talk to outside hitters, and they always say that's the most difficult one, right? One coming from behind you, and you're attacking the net trying to track it at the same time. Served by Sidney Burris, and then Kanapke pushes it. Maxwell saved that one, and Leah Rudisil hit it into the net. So it's 12-7, the ball was kind of set back off the net. Mark, when you take a look at this Shawnee program, one of the things that always pops ahead and Brooke Hutchins' vernacular is all gas, no break, right? He says that to our players all the time. Well, what's that mean? It means we're just going to go hard all the time. And I think that really encompasses their yeah. service game, doesn't it? It does. How about the tip at the net by Kanapke? Makes it 12-8. And that's a senior that doesn't want to see her season end. Kind of slowly get back in it, uh, the slide of Bulldogs. Carly Hutchins hits it. Block and then she pushes it. Did she get push it? And she is gonna go wide. Yeah, missed the line. Had to wait a moment. It's pretty close. 12-9. Good run by the Bulldogs. They've scored six out of the last seven points. Yeah, good character by the Bulldogs. Hutchins blocked. Stoner plays it again. And we'll get this hit. Maxwell will set Leah Rudisil, who pushes it over. Back set, Carly Hutchins, but she hits it to Harder. And Stoner pushes it to the back row where Maggie Jordan played it. Schwederman will set this time, and Stoner hits it into a blocker. 
Kanapke pushes it. Freiberger gets to it. And then the push to the back row. What a play. Wonderful placement of the ball to make it 13-9. You don't always have to jump sky high in the air and then slam it straight down. Just put it where they're not. Here's Carly Hutchins to serve 5'10 sophomore. Second team all conference in the Western Buckeye League. Kanapke misjudged it and then still had an opportunity to get it over. And she's going to get that short set and gets a point. When they've got the set passed right there, they mm -hmm. did a nice job with that one. That's been automatic when yep. they've been able to get Napke involved on a quick middle. A little goal ball action in the middle. Shawnee not there to defend it. Here's Michaela Stoner with her team down by three. Wallbash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. The Rudisell. Schwederman makes a save, then it's free balled over by Sydney Jenkins. Here's Carly Hutchins. Kaiser sets. Schwederman will set that one over to, to uh, Kaiser. And good placement ball. That's why Maxwell has all those kills because of her ability to place the ball when she's in the front row like that. Yeah, you got to be able to have the vision, right? Yep. Yep. She can see the whole floor, doesn't just focus on her side, sees where the defense is, go ahead and dump it in. 14 10 with Grace Freiberger to serve. Set. Cooper tried to climb the ladder and block it. Unsuccessfully, 14-11. Slide the trail by eight at one point in this set. And slowly getting back in it. Kelly Cooper had it blocked back at her, then she mishandled the ball. It's 14-12. That was Sapp and Kaiser going against her. Denied the action. Don't look now. Yeah. Salina within two. Closest they've been since it was 4-2. Back set. Hit by Rudisil. There's Miley Sapp. Yeah, how about that snap dragon? Yeah, how about that? 14-13. Oh, she didn't miss that at all. Got that right on the sweet spot and then celebrated. Salina not going quietly into the night. Sweeterman will serve. Freiberger set that one. Off a blocker by Sidney Jenkins. Maxwell dumps it over, but Schwederman plays that one. Back set, Sapp tips and gets an open spot. Gives it the big hit one time, just puts it in the right spot the next, and we are tied at 14. What a smart play. Nobody in front. Don't miss hit it. Just hit it in the spot where there's no Shawnee. Tied up. Allison Schwederman service a bit long, ends her run of three service points and puts Shawnee back on top, 15-14. On our Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard as Leah Rudisil will serve, and Freiberger ties her shoe first. Leah's serve goes to Stoner, and then tracked down by Emma Harder. Maxwell will set Cooper, that's blocked. And Shawnee will lose that point and make it 15-14. 15-15, yeah, I, I was writing it down, Miles. I just didn't see it quick <laughs> enough. This, this, thanks for helping me out. This, these numbers, well, Salina's worked really hard. They want those points. These numbers here, they're getting difficult for me. There's a kill attempt by Cooper. Schwederman will set. That kill attempt was by Lily Schreff Schreffler. Cooper hit that one off of Schwederman. It is 16-15. Now, you know how you know that you hit it hard? When they pick it out of the stands and it's 15 rows up. Yeah. Here's Addison Maxwell. Freiberger will set Hutchins. That's blocked. Now she will set on the back side of that. She hits Sydney Burris. Freiberger runs that one down. Here's Cooper. And it's in. 17-15. Yeah, no doubt about it. When you need big points, just go set in the middle. And yeah, Cooper will deliver. Here's Maxwell again. Yeah, Mark Kelly Cooper hitting 4-11 coming into the night's wow. match. 
Right out of the middle, it's Miley Sapp, 17-16. Yeah, Miley Sapp matching action for action in the middle. She is a fun player to watch, and that one had a little hot sauce on it. Sydney Jenkins will serve. Back set to Cooper. Kelly gets a point, 18-16. The winner of this will get the winner of Liberty Benton and St. Mary's, our second at telecast from this evening. That will be here in this building, the Summer Center, on Thursday night at 7 p.m. Really good dig oh, out. How about keeping it alive? And Sapp was able to play it. Yes, yeah, Haley Kaiser that wow. digs it out somehow. Looked like she was doing the limbo, but able to get it out of the net. Difficult play to get that out of the net without doing it illegally as Miley Sapp will serve. Freiberger plays it over. And then the free ball. Hutchins hit it wide. We are tied at 18. Oh, what a big serve this is in this third set. Maybe the match. Salina can get ahead here. Hutchins hits it off a blocker, and they go get it. Kanapke plays it over. Hutchins just tips to an open spot. Kaiser got a hand on it. So did Saf, but they couldn't keep it in play. Nice effort. But Shawnee gets the point on our Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. Sydney Burris turned to serve. Oh, Shawnee kept that one alive. Kanapke hits it. Maxwell played it over. Stoner hits that one, and I think she hit it into the antenna. Shawnee 2018. And we are going to get a second timeout from Salina. We had a lot of good sets and a lot of good spikes out of those sets this evening. Our spike sponsor tonight is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Miles, mm -hmm. Salina got all the way back in it. They have sure never did. led. But they were down at 1.113. They've got it tied up at 18 all, and now they're down by two. Yeah, what about the character they displayed, right? Yeah, Could have easily folded in this third set after the drop in the first two. Hey, Coach Bangy, he knows how to get the most out of his ladies. And boy, down two now. Don't quit. You've battled so hard. All you got to do is focus on this next point. Got to get the next one, though, if you're going to steal this third set. Shawnee will be in service when we come back. The WSN Scores app is new and improved. Download the brand new app from your app store. So don't miss any of your favorite team scores. The new WSN app replaces the old app. So make sure you download it and today and stay up to date on all of these scores. How many press box are you in on Friday night and halftime comes and everybody opens up the WSN app to see what's going on in all the high school football games? Uh, it's the first thing we do at yeah. halftime. It's the first thing we do after games. Here's Sidney Burris. And uh, there we get our beck to serve from Jeff Harvey. Maxwell will set. Hutchins blocked at the net. Kanapke was there. So coming out of the timeout, Salina stops a little mini run and makes it 2019. And this time, Emma Harder will serve, 5'5", five, five, senior. Hutchins hits it off a blocker, and she gets a point. 21-19. Here's Carly Hutchins to serve. 23 aces to go with her 205 kills this year. Kanapke pushes to the middle of the floor, but Freiberger's there. Kanapke hit it again. And Shawnee keeps it alive again. I don't know how, how Hutchins got that up in the air. Stoner hit that one. And Shawnee keeps it alive for the third time. Kanapke out of the middle. And that time she gets a point. 
Uh, the senior, who's been a big force in the middle of the floor for Salina, delivers. Salina now within one. Three persistent efforts by the Shawnee Indians, but the point eventually goes to Kanapke, and Michaela Stoner will serve, trying to even this one up in set number three. Maxwell sets. Hutchins rolls it over across the net. Kaiser will set. She sets again. Kanapke just pushes it over that time. Hutchins again hits and hit it long, and we are tied at 21. There's that glimmer of belief still with Salina as the bench leaves their seats and jumps up. Huge serve. And missed the back line. It's 22-21 Indians. I like the aggressive yeah. mindset, right? Trying to attack that Salina, that Shawnee team deep, but got to get it in at this point of the match. Grace Freiberger serves. Kanapke again tips to the middle of the floor. That time they get to it. Cooper hits. That was hit by Jenkins. Here's Cooper again. Kanapke tried to get a block on it. Couldn't. It's 23-21. Salina has burned both of their timeouts. Shawnee has not used one yet. Yeah, how about the set, though, by Maxwell? Yeah. Sweet spot. Knows where her big hitter Cooper wants it. Stay tuned when this one's over. Miles is going to get down to the floor and get an interview when this one comes to an end. Kanapke hit that one and got a point for her efforts. 23-22 as Allison Schwederman gets to serve. She has the only ace of the evening for the Bulldogs. Cooper. And Kelly hit it long, and we are tied at 23. And they have Schwederman serving it. Shawnee has not used a timeout yet. A nice job by Schwederman. Make sure it was in play. Cooper off a block. It's a point. Shawnee is at set point, match point. And Leah Rudisil will be the server of the 5-5. Junior has a couple of aces this evening. To Schwederman. It'll be free balled over by Jenkins. And there is Kelly Cooper at the net. And Shawnee will take the third set, 25-23. You talked about it several times there, Miles. Very valiant effort by Salina. They're in set number three. Yeah, it sure was. But they're going to go back and they're going to watch this and they're going to lament the fact that there was too many overpasses and, and too many free balls that just allowed Shawnee to make hay at the net. This is a Shawnee team that, boy, they put stress on you in many ways. Uh, uh, about to say the same thing. That they might have made some mistakes at, from Salina's side, but Shawnee really played well oh. this evening at times, too. It marked the amount of pressure they put on you just with their service game alone is incredible. And then they don't make errors when yep. you serve it to them. They just get it back and play. They stay in system about 80% of the time. This is a fantastic Shawnee team. Miles is headed to the floor, see if he can get an interview. Our scoreboard has been sponsored by Wabash Mutual Telephone. Our spike sponsor and set sponsor has been Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. I want to thank Jacob O'Neill. He's been our camera and technical guy tonight. He's also going to take this back to the station to edit it all together. And I want to thank the athletic director here, James Grandy. We appreciate his efforts for getting us all set up as well. Salina will finish the season, 10 wins and 13 losses. They were 5-4 and four in the Western Buckeye League. Shawnee will be back here to play the winner of our second match. They will go to 23-1, and one, and they were 9-0 and oh in the Western Buckeye League. Tonight's first District 2, Division 2 District semifinal will go to the Shawnee Indians. They won sets 25-17, 25-20, and 25-23. Stay tuned for Miles coming up right after this. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Uh, joining us now, Kelly Cooper. Kelly, you guys are victorious over a really tough Salina team. You won 3-0, but it really wasn't that easy, was it? Not at all. They have they have a great program. They've had a great program for years. Just very well-trained girls, very well-coached. It's just 
It's always a great game to play, great competition. Is it tough to play a team like Salina that you're very familiar with? Um, yes, it is, because not only are we familiar with them, but they're familiar with us. So it's just the fact of getting creative and finding out their holes, then finding out ours. Uh, that was a tough third set. They came uh, all the way back from eight points down. Coach didn't call timeout. Does he trust? Does she trust you guys that you're going to get things done on the floor? Yeah, she kind of puts that trust into our seniors, who are mainly our leaders on the floor. And it's just we know we got a job to do. We're not here to waste any time. So we'll do a quick little huddle just ourselves in the middle, get right back to the game plan. You have a setter in Maxwell that always gets you in the right spot, right? <laughs> yes, uh, what, what's that chemistry like with you two? Oh, God, she's been my setter for how, as long as I've been playing. And it's just we have that connection that I am able to give her that criticism. She can give it back to me. And it's just there's a lot of trust in that relationship that we've built over the years. All right, now who's this guy over here that has the, the Kelly shirt? Uh, who's this? This is my dad. That's her dad. Dad, are you proud of her or what? I'm awful proud of her. She <laughs> did great. The whole team did great. That's fantastic. Kelly, what's it going to take for you guys to win the district title? Um, just – Keep playing our game and keep increasing our game every day with practice. Come in, get the job done during practice, get the job done every game. Congratulations, you, our I player of the game. That. Good luck moving forward. Hey, that Shawnee team, they're something special, aren't they? Uh, thanks for watching on WOSN.